Hey guys, I'm Will Patterson. I'm a YouTuber, a hand letterer, a logo designer, and I'm today going to be showing you how to create some lettering on a picture and make it look awesome for your Instagram or your website. Now, I've just come back from a holiday for 10 days. It was awesome. And when I was there, I did some brush lettering and I put the pictures that we've taken on holiday and I put the lettering over the top of it. And I'm going to be showing you a really easy and super effective way of doing that today. So the first things first, we need to make the lettering. Now, you can do this with a brush pen, even if you're not too good at it. You can do it with a dip pen, you can do it with a sharpie, a chisel chip sharpie would be cool, or just any sort of writing. But for this to work really well, you want a dark ink or some sort of dark pen on white paper. It doesn't have to be a black ink, but it should be a dark color that we can have good contrast with when we're editing it. So what I do is I get my brush pens out or just any sort of pen out and I do some calligraphy with it and I do it on the white paper and you can write anything that you want to up to you. The next thing we need to do is we need to scan the lettering to put it onto our computer. Now the easiest way of doing this would be a scanner but if you don't have one of them you can actually use your mobile phone. They take really good high resolution pictures now that we can use for this simple project. So I would normally use my scanner and scan at a resolution of 800 dpi which means pixels per inch or dots per inch if you want to go that route. But for you guys you might be using just your mobile phones so just go ahead and take a picture but make sure that when you take the picture you've got some good lighting because you want to be able to encapsulate the whole of the lettering now the picture doesn't have to be composed very well you just need to get the lettering in the picture it doesn't matter about getting a table in the way or whatever but you want to make the lettering in the picture as big as possible so we have more to work with when we're actually editing it now that you've got your picture it should be on your phone to get it back onto your computer if you have a Mac you can use airdrop which is really simple to use if you don't have a Mac you can just upload your picture to Facebook into a message to yourself and then go onto Facebook on your computer and download it from there and you should have it on your computer. Amazing. So now we should have our lettering onto our computer. Now we'll need to use a program called Adobe Photoshop for this to work. Go ahead and open Adobe Photoshop up and then drag your image that you've taken off your lettering into Adobe Photoshop. The image should just pop up on the screen and you should just have it there. Now we need to go ahead and actually change a few things here and they're very easy. We're going to be using what's called adjustment layers to make this work really well. The first adjustment layer we're going to use is a black and white adjustment layer. We're using black and white so we can just get the blacks and the white shown in the image and take off any other colors or ranges of colors so to make this effect work even better. Go ahead and press black and white and make sure your layer, the black and white layer is above the picture layer and then press auto and what this will do, this will automatically change the sort of contrast of the black and white. The next thing we need to do is add another adjustment layer called contrast. Go ahead and click in the same place and just press contrast and the little properties window should just open. Once you've got that layer, go into the properties of the layer and just press auto again and that should just change the contrast automatically. The next adjustment layer we're going to use is something called levels. Now, when we press levels, you'll see that there's like a slidey buttons and we're going to be using them to get the proper whites and blacks. For this effect to work really well and better than normal, we need to make sure that the whites of the paper are stone cold white and the darks are just proper dark. So change the values until the blacks are really black but not too black and the whites are really white but not too white. Amazing so now we should have a few adjustment layers there and we're going to add one more. This adjustment layer is called the invert adjustment layer. What this is going to do is it's going to invert all the colors or the black and whites in that image and make it go white and black. So the lettering should be white and the paper should be black. And the last thing we're going to do for the lettering is we're going to go ahead and select all our layers and merge them together. You can do this by selecting all the layers by clicking and shift clicking down to the last layer and then pressing Alt Command or Option and Command E and that will merge all the layers into one new layer above them all. Now we need to look for a good picture that you've taken or that you've found 
and put it into Photoshop. You can take any picture from your iPhone, just like I said before, just upload it to Facebook, or you can go to a website like Unsplash. I'm a massive fan of unsplash.com. I'll link it in the description, where you can just get a picture that looks really nice to put your lettering on. Once you've found the picture that you're looking for, go ahead and put it into Photoshop into a new file. Now that we've got a photograph in Photoshop, we need to go back to our lettering document and take that merged layer with all the effects taking place and drag it into the other document. You'll notice that your lettering picture is just on top of your photograph. So what we need to do is press Command T or Control T on a computer to scale it down. And what that will do is it'll just transform it down. Press Command T and then Shift and just click down until it's scaled properly. Once you've done that, press enter. Now what we need to do is we need to get rid of all the black in this image and there's a super, super easy way of doing this. Make sure you've got your lettering layer highlighted and go to the blend modes. When you're in the blend modes, go ahead and press screen and when you've chosen the screen, you'll notice that all the black of the lettering picture has gone. All we need to do now is we need to just transform this down, which means scale it down a little bit and go ahead and position it on the picture that we want. Once you're happy with the photograph and the lettering in the photograph, go ahead and press Command, Shift, and S, and what that'll do is it'll just save it. Make sure you save it as a .jpeg, and then save it to your desktop. Once you save the image, you can do a few things. You can put it on Facebook, or put it wherever you want, but if you wanna put it back on Instagram, it has to go back onto your phone. So go ahead and send yourself another message with the new image, with the lettering on top of it, on there, and save it on your phone, and post it to Instagram. So now you should have your lettering in all its glory, on your Instagram profile, and you should be able to get really fun and creative with this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys wanna support me and this channel and everything that I do on Instagram, you can go ahead onto my Patreon page, which basically you can just tip me a couple dollars a month if you would like to. You don't have to, if you would like to. And from there, you'll get all my products for free if you just support the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on next week with another amazing video. Make sure you remember to subscribe by pressing the red button down below and also remember to comment down below, let me know what you think of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.